Hi, and welcome to a short tutorial on how to prepare and export your projects correctly to the Gamma BIM platform via publishing them to the Autodesk Construction Cloud. Okay, so before we get started, there's a couple of prerequisites that we would like to talk about before diving into the correct export settings. As Gamma AR as of yet cannot depict 2D plan information, it is important to have the model at a sensible development stage before export. In order to later on be able to position the model in AR on site, it must contain at least one of the following elements walls, which are generally the easiest, spaces, or columns. Using one of these elements is key to be able to utilize Gamma AR correctly. Even though the app doesn't have a file size limit, it does rely on the correct allocation of elements to the reference levels, especially on more complex, multi level projects. So please make sure that all elements are referenced to the correct levels not just for the sake of using Gamma AR. Lastly, if you have a very large project that isn't naturally partitioned, for example, by different levels, consider reducing the scope of what should be exported. We will get into that in the next step. Depending on your own workflow on site, you can prepare your model according to what suits your needs the best by creating custom views in Revit. Gamma AR is able not only to depict any 3D views easily, but also the planned phases as well. By exporting a prepared 3D view, you make certain that the app has 3D rooms to work with. As 3D views can be completely custom tailored, we will walk you through some basic steps. Firstly, if you haven't already, you can create a new 3D view easiest by clicking the button in the quick toolbar at the top. Now, ask yourself if you want to export the entire model or maybe only a section of it. If the task at hand only targets a small portion of the building, like a room or specific area, it might make sense to limit the view to that area. Also, consider if you need all model information, or only a specific group of elements, like HVAC or doors. These elements can be set visible or invisible with the Visibility Overrides tab, reachable easily by tapping VV on your keyboard. You can then select the categories you wish to show or hide, unfolding the menus for detailed control. Even though Gamma AR only requires at least one wall, space, or column to be exported, as a general rule of thumb, it makes sense to have at least some, if not all, load-bearing architectural elements visible. This makes it a lot easier to position yourself later on as well as being able to ascertain the location of the planned 3D model information in respect to the environment being built on site. Additionally, best practice for Gamma AR is that all objects should be associated with reference levels or building stories. Depending on the level of development of your project, it is highly advised that simplicity is ensured by avoiding multiple building stories per floor. If you have multiple reference levels per floor, as for example structural slabs as well as floor finishing, Gamma AR best practice is to define the top of structural slabs as building stories. If your project is already hosted and administered on the Autodesk Construction Cloud and you are accustomed to publishing your model to it frequently, the next steps will be a refresher with an additional focus to it. In order to define views to publish to the Autodesk Construction Cloud for usage in Gamma AR, click on the Collaborate tab and then on Publish Settings. Depending on how your BIM practice works, you might need to adjust the filter to be able to see the views you have set up in the steps prior. Click on the drop-down menu next to Show List and select 3D Views and Model for a comprehensive list of all 3D views. Now, you can select the views you created specifically for Gamma AR. After selection, you can click Save and Close. To publish to the Construction Cloud, click on Collaborate in the Collaborate tab, and be sure to set In the Cloud in the new dialog. If you can't select In the Cloud, it may not be set up correctly as a project yet on ACC. Contact your platform admin if you do not have admin rights to your Construction Cloud yourself, and initiate a project setup for your project accordingly. Gamma AR can use models that are uploaded manually to ACC as well as cloud-saved and work-shared cloud models. We strongly recommend using work-shared cloud models, as this allows for shared parameters to be shown in the ACC Cloud Viewer, as well as in Navisworks models. Shared parameters can later be used for progress tracking and issue workflows. 
In order to import your models directly to the Gamma BIM platform, navigate to the Gamma AR portal. Be sure to connect to the correct portal, US or EU, and sign in with your account. First, select the project you wish to upload the models to from the drop down menu to the top. When selected, open the Models tab under Projects on the left. If you can only see icons, you can either hover above them or also unfold the panel by clicking on the arrow. Next, you need to make sure that you have the cloud integration active and linked to the construction cloud project you wish to synchronize models from. To do this, click on Add Integration to the top right. Then, click on the Synchronize button associated with the service your project is hosted on. In this case, Autodesk Construction Cloud. If you haven't set up the integration on the cloud construction side, now would be a good time. Follow the tutorial on setting up permissions linked to the infos below. If you already have it set up, you can click on Continue. Next, choose the project you'd like to sync from and set the type if prompted. Your project is now connected to the Gamma BIM platform and you are ready to sync models. Here, you can click on Add Models and now should see a button in the new dialog called Import from Autodesk. When clicked, it opens the project file structure you have set up in the construction cloud. You can choose the prepared views you've set up in the steps prior. Click on Submit and wait for the models to synchronize. You might notice a small turning icon in the model browser on the platform. This shows that Gamma is currently still converting the file which duration is dependent on the complexity and size of the individual file. Once the spinning icon is gone, the model is ready to be used in the Gamma AR app. We hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. For more information or help, feel free to visit www.gamma-ar.com.